Hey guys, this is Paracord Geek. I'm here today to show you how to make the trilobite bar slash ladder rack. Um, it's called a bunch of different things, but um, that's what I'm going to show you how to make today. So, the materials we're going to need are a lighter, a pair of cutting utensils, scissors, knife, whatever, pliers. Um, um, you need needle nose pliers, and then if you don't, if you don't have needle plier, needle nose pliers, um, the, uh, threading needles work really good, which I have, but most people don't have um, threading needles. So I'm gonna show you with uh, needle nose pliers. Uh, you're gonna need a measuring tape, and then a buckle, your paracord, and then you're gonna need some kind of jig. Now, I have this jig so that just to help me make my paracord faster. Um, but what you can do, you can just hook up um, two pieces of buckles like this, like a certain distance away from each other, um, just because you just need something to hold it tight for this bracelet. So I'm not going to be using the tape measure or the uh, scissors because I already cut out my paracord. So you're going to need roughly six feet of paracord um, to make this bracelet uh, for each color, so that would be 12 feet of paracord in total. Um, and that depends just on how tight you pull your knots. Um, so if you pull them kind of loose, you're going to need more. If you pull them tight, you're going to need less. And the tighter you pull, the thinner the bracelet's going to be. The, loose, the more loose you pull, it's going to be fatter. Um, so for now, I'm just going to put this away. So remember, six feet of each color. Um, so you're going to have to melt the two colors together. So get your lighter and then just go ahead and get them nice and melted. Like so, and then just push them together. It's just like any other paracord bracelet that you were going to make. So you're just going to push them, test it, make sure it's good. And then once it's good, you're going to get your buckle. And then you're going to use the female end. And you're going to take... Um, either side, it doesn't matter. I'll use the red so that it's more contrasting to the black buckle. And then go up through the bottom and then push it up. And then if it won't go through, uh -huh. just grab your pliers and just pull it up. And then once it's through like that, you're going to go over and around it like that. And then pull these back and then pull it tight. So make sure that's nice and tight. Like that. Alright, now since you have that, you're going to pull your paracord all the way to the other end. And then you're going to get your male end, the buckle. And then you're going to, since I have this little bar in between, I have to go up. Um, I'm going to, so I'm going to pull, go up on both sides. And then pull it down to the, to about the right length that I want the bracelet to be. Which will be about, say, about 8 inches. So, like, there. And then once I'm here, I'm going to go back through with the other side. And make sure you don't cross them over. Make sure you keep it on the same side. And then the red. Down through. Now, um, I'd like to thank Mr. Coop. Um, who made the video that I watched and I learned how to make it from there and I believe that he learned how to make it from uh, 
JD of tying it all together, which I love his channel. Both of them are really good paracord channels. Um, so, and if you don't have the bar in between, just go from the top down in. So, once you're here and you have it threaded through, you're just going to go ahead and hook it up. So, here and here. Now, that's already set at about eight and a half inches. So, I'm going to pull that tight. And pretty much this bracelet is all about tightening and tightening. Um, so, you need to make sure you're always tightening things up. Now, I'm going to take my lighter out of the way, my pliers, so you can see better. And we're going to turn it this way, just so that, um, because this knot up here needs to be in the top. And then your thread needs to be down here. Now, normally you'd have it the opposite turned around, but this is kind of a different bracelet here. So, you're going to go up, and then you're going to do it as if you're making a paracord, um, a cobra stitch paracord bracelet. So, here, let me get these all stretched out. So, over. And then you're going to go over with this one underneath and pull up. And then you're going to go all the way to the very top. And I'm going to make sure that's tight down there again because it, feel like, it feels like it's loosening up. And then pull that tight. And this is one of the main parts that you need to do. That you need to make sure that this is all good because this basically determines a whole bracelet. So once you feel that it's good, make sure you hold it and keep it there. And then you're going to take your left strand, you're going to go over and underneath this these middle two and then back up in between the outside and the middle two and you're going to pull it through and then just pull that tight All right now you're going to take your other you're going to go underneath back up like that and then you're going to go over over the middle two over your other strand you made and underneath that one underneath the outside one on the left and then remember just tightening which is basically really what you need to do so I didn't keep that tight so go back and tighten it up if you didn't get it tight all right, and then do the same, go over the outside, underneath the middle, and pull it tight. All right. And then same, go under, over, under, pull it through, and then over, under, over. Just keep pulling it tight. And then you're going to keep on doing that same thing over. You're going to go. Sorry. Under, over, under. And then over, under, over. And then you're going to do that all the way here. Um, so once you're in this position, it's going to get kind of hard to get out to get this cord through these little spaces. So I'm going to go and zoom in a little bit, just so you can see a little better. All right, so what you've got to do is kind of, you got to get your pliers through that little hole and then feed it up 
through the bottom and then pull it through. Just like that. And then do the same over here. Feed your pliers up and then pull it through. Um, it, it would be really hard with just using your fingers. So make sure you have at least like a threading needle or a pair of pliers. And now it's getting really tight in here. be tightening. Um, the tighter you go, the thinner, like I said, um, and then the less tight, the more wide it will be. So you're just going to be like that. Um, I'm going to do one more after this. It's hard to get underneath there. Definitely, absolutely have pliers or threading needle. No doubt about it.